Hi, I'm Elizabeth Lovegrove and this is a quick introduction to using Google Docs. You'll see we're starting off in Moodle and here we've got a link to the Google Doc. So I'm just going to click on that um, and the document opens in a separate tab there. It takes a little while to load. And this is my sample Google document. Um, you'll see that we've got a couple of other people present in this Google document as well. Actually both of them and me but let's not worry about that for the time being. But we can see that um, this person here, who's come up as an anonymous cheater, has got the word simultaneously highlighted, and you can see that that's where the anonymous cheater's cursor is. And this person, who's a different version of Elizabeth Lovegrove, has got her cursor down here, um, in the middle of the word different. She's obviously just about to start typing something there. Um, and if I start typing something here, they will all be able to see that as well. Now if you look up here quickly, you can see that it's saying saving. Um, in a minute, that's just going to go to auto change, change to all changes saved. Every change that you make is automatically saved in Drive. And it tells you when the last edit was. So you're, you're safe to be working in this Google document or indeed any Google document and know that your changes will be saved quite quickly as you go along. Um, Obviously the downside of changes being saved automatically is that you might lose something. But we have the revision history, which you'll find over in the file menu, and then see revision history. And then what we get is a nice little list of all of the changes that have been made to this document since it was created in July. Um, and you'll see that my today's highlights, my today's edits are highlighted in green there. You can see there's a green um, indicator there. Um, I can go back, say, to this August change by Peter Jackson, and actually Peter's um, labelled himself here as making this change, but even if he hadn't, using the revision history you'll be able to see that he had made that change. Look, it's orange, so Peter's paragraph there comes up in orange, and you'll see it's lost my line of typing from today, because we've gone back to the revision history in August. Um, it also works with anonymous people, as you can see from these two here, so I don't know who this anonymous person was, but um, they typed something in, on the 26th of July there, and talking about messing around with each other's text, which is indeed one of the great joys of Google Documents. Um, so it should be really straightforward, it should work exactly the same way as the kinds of word processors you're used to. I'll just go back to the, um, the live version. You'll see some familiar sorts of toolbars along the top here, and some familiar sorts of things in the menus, spelling, um, formatting, and so on. Uh, you can also insert images and links and, and all the kinds of things you would expect. Um, just a quick word about accounts. If you are not logged into Google at the time that you click on the link, or if you don't have a Google account, um, you can still edit this document. Um, this anonymous cheater is me logged out in a different browser, so that browser has no knowledge of any of my Google accounts, uh, and it's still letting me edit, as you see from the, the anonymous cheater cursor that we've got over here. If you are logged into a Google account, it should automatically um, pick up your current default account if you've got more than one logged in. Um, so when I clicked on the link from the Moodle course a moment ago, it took me through to my Brooks account. This is my default Brooks Google account, uh, my official work account. Um, and this one that I've got logged in here is one of my personal accounts. So it works smoothly with different kinds of accounts you've got. And if you want to change account, you can just uh, click on the drop down arrow there and choose add account or sign out or switch if you've got several logged in at once. Um, so that's a quick and dirty introduction to Google Documents.